Hey friends, today I'm here to show you guys a human hair wig by Uniwigs. This is considered a budget friendly piece. She retails for under $700. She has Remy human hair and I've got to tell you guys this is nice hair. Not only that, but this one has what is called their comfort cap. I'd never heard of it before. I'm a fan. This is one of the most comfortable caps I have ever had on my head. Of all the wigs I've tried in five years, and there's a lot, this is a super comfortable cap. I can't wait to tell you more about Leah by Uniwigs. I am so grateful to Uniwigs for sending me Leah so that I could show her to all of you. I'm grateful to them for many things, for working with reviewers because it's really hard to purchase a wig that you've never seen aside from some pictures. So I'm really grateful for them, to them I should say, for, for working with reviewers. I'm also grateful to them for creating affordable human hair wigs. Let's talk about the human hair wig market for a moment. Prices have continued to go up and up and up over the five years that I have been wearing wigs. I've really only discovered my love for human hair wigs about almost three years into the wig wearing journey. But even then, wigs, the prices have really kind of skyrocketed. When you're looking at a high quality Remy human hair wig, you're looking to pay anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 or even $3,000 they tend to be priced really high. Uniwigs though, carries really nice pieces and they're way more budget friendly than that. So this piece right here, made with Remy human hair, the hair is gorgeous. This wig, you guys, I'm so impressed with this wig. Right now it retails at the Uniwigs website for $698. I have a 15% off coupon code to share with you so you can save over $100 off of the purchase price. I just, I don't know how they do it, but I'm really, really grateful that they do. So if you are in the market for a human hair wig or even synthetic, because they do carry synthetics as well, check out Uniwigs. If this isn't the style or color for you, they may have something that'll work for you. I think my coupon code will work on other styles at their website as well. I'll link it below. Make sure, just give it a shot. If it doesn't work, then maybe they've only set it up for this piece. I don't know that for a fact. But regardless, Una Wigs has been around for quite some time. They are a trusted retailer and their prices are really great. I wanted to give you that context because I know not everybody has looked at human hair wigs. And when I say budget friendly, when I'm talking about a human hair wig, I really mean under a thousand dollars for a human hair wig because they are so very expensive. Now you have to be careful. I think if you get too low a price, you have to be concerned about ethical sourcing and things like that. But Overall, if you can get a Remy human hair wig for under a thousand dollars, you are doing well. And this one is quite a ways under a thousand. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. Now I did film a little segment that I will tack on the end showing you what this one looks like air dried. So I have used a curling iron to put these really loose waves in her. I used a Beach Waver 1.25 inch curling iron and this is the wave that I put in her. So this is styled but I haven't cut her at all. So all I've done is wash her, cut the lace, and put these loose waves in her. I do show you what she looks like air dried. She air dries beautifully. I really think this is one that you could wear unstyled. Now, I think the star of the show, well, there's two stars of the show. The first one is this hair. I really, really am so impressed by the hair, by the density, by just this whole style. The hair is so soft. It's such nice hair. But really, the star of this is the cap. So this is called their comfort cap. I'll take it off in a moment. But before I take it off, I want to show you the lace front. So we've got a lace front. And again, I had to cut the lace. That's very common on a human hair wig. This lace front is so good, you guys. And they've done a great job with the knotting as well. Now it has a full lace top. So you have 
free parting all on the top here. All of this is free parting. I also think that this lace is pretty transparent. You really can't see it against my skin, which I appreciate because oftentimes on budget-friendly human hair wigs, some of the sacrifices that are made, if the hair, maybe the hair is really great quality, but you're making some sacrifices on the cap. I do think sometimes the lace is a little bit darker on a more budget-friendly human hair piece, but this lace is really great. Now here is the comfort cap. They, what they've done, is they've taken a very soft like t-shirt type material and they've sewn it on over the wefting so there's no itchiness on this cap it is this soft material the lace is actually pretty soft as well and it has a ton of stretch in addition they've put these little silicone strips on all throughout to help with grip. Now, if you have bio hair, I'm not so sure that that silicone will do a whole lot for you. I'm not finding it to do very much on the areas where I have bio hair, but if you have no bio hair, that is gonna grip onto your scalp and gonna be really comfortable. I think the only drawback that I see in this cap is it doesn't have any adjusters. So we've got elastic right here to give some stretch, but there's no way to make this cap smaller so let's talk about fit. Now I have a 21.25 inch circumference. That's the measurement around the circumference of my head. On the Uniwigs website, this says that the size that this will fit is 21 and a half. Now, of course, there are some, there's variation. It's not just gonna fit that size, but that's what it says at their website. I do find this to actually fit me a little bit loose. I feel as though somebody with even up to a potentially a 21 and three quarters or maybe even a 22 inch circumference could wear this because it has a lot of stretch. But because you can't really adjust it, I would say if you are smaller than a 21 and a quarter circumference, you may have to adhere the lace in order to get it to stay snug or and or wear a wig grip with it. I don't have a wig grip on right now and I feel as though this is super comfortable but somewhat loose. When I wear a wig grip with it though, and I have, I've been wearing this a little bit, it is so comfortable on, it doesn't move, I don't feel the need to adhere the lace at all. It's really In addition, wonderful. I have a 13 inch measurement from my hairline to the nape, and this fits me like really all the way down to my nape. I do think there's room to grow as well there. So if you're bigger than me on your forehead, I got hair in my lip gloss as usual, from your forehead or your hairline to nape, I think you can be bigger than me there. In addition, I do think it's a little bit big on me, this measurement. So I'm 12 and a half from ear to ear. And these ear tabs come all the way down and I do feel as though it kind of butts up behind my ear just a little bit. Now, because this cap is so stretchy and so comfortable, I honestly don't really notice that bothering me. I don't feel as though it's pressing up against my ears or anything like that, but I definitely think that if you're bigger than me over the top of your head as well, you're gonna have some room. There's just a little bit of extra cap up here. So this overall, this comfort cap, is probably the most comfortable cap I've ever had on my head. I love that they put that material over the wefting, so if you suffer from irritation from wigs, you find them very itchy on your head, this one might be worth trying. That material is so soft. I was asked by someone on Instagram if I thought this would be a warmer wig, a hotter wig, than one that didn't have that material over the wefting. Unfortunately, I can't really tell because it's, it's kind of become winter here since I got this wig and so you know it's pretty chilly outside we keep the house pretty cool because of my hot flashes I'm not really noticing that I'm hotter in this wig than any other wig I wear so I think it's sort of a personal uh, experience I would just say from common sense or from just thinking about it it probably will trap a little bit more heat than a wig that has open wefting and no material over it i don't think it's going to be significant though it's so comfortable in my opinion it's worth it because it's so comfortable so i think probably the biggest drawback is that there are no other choices when you look at this wig. This is the only color. It's a medium brown. It doesn't come in any other color. In addition, 
you don't have any cap size choices you don't have any length choices that is one thing that I've noticed about Uniwigs is they have a pretty limited selection when it comes to their pieces they have a lot of pieces but not a lot of very a variety of selection within those pieces I think that may be one of the ways they keep the price point but down if you are a brunette and you can wear this color this wig is so great. I think the cap is one of the most comfortable caps I've ever had. I am so blown away by this hair, the quality of this hair, the softness of the hair, the density of this piece. It is not a heavy density. It has a really nice, natural amount of hair. It doesn't feel super heavy density. If you don't like having as much hair in the front as this one has because you know it has some layers but it's definitely a longer piece and the long long layers in the front you can have this customized you can take it to a stylist have them cut in face framing layers have them cut in bangs or you can cut in bangs if you want to wear bangs with this piece you absolutely can there are many many ways that you can customize this to your own personal style so overall, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful piece, and I am personally really glad that I have it. I will definitely be wearing this one, and I do recommend it. I know I showed you the lace already, but I didn't talk very much about knotting, so let's talk about the knots. There's that lace again, and the knots are super small. Now, I don't know if they are bleached or not. They don't look super bleached to me, and I'm not sure that Uniwigs typically does a lot of bleaching of their knots, but what I do appreciate is that they've made them super tiny. So if they're barely, barely visible, but if what you can see right there bothers you at all, then you can take just a little bit of face powder and dab it on the knots. It really does help to blur them, and these are barely noticeable. And then you can part this anywhere you want. So I have it parted here, and that's how it looks at the part line. If you want a more natural looking part line, I'm personally totally fine with this one. I'll wear this one just like this. I will not feel the need to do anything to it. But if you want a more defined part line, you can, again, put some makeup on the part line, or you can take some scar tape, just the medical scar tape that you can purchase at the drugstore, and you can put a strip of scar tape on there, which will give the appearance of scalp a little bit more and make it look just a little bit more realistic. Again, I think it looks fine, but we're all very different. All right, let's talk about color. Medium brown is what they call this. It really is just the most natural medium brown. It doesn't have visible highlights. It's just a beautiful, rich brown. I would consider this more of a neutral brown. I am not seeing red or auburn in this color. It's just a gorgeous, natural brown. Doesn't look like you've, you know, spent time at the stylist getting it highlighted, but it's so professional and rich looking. Definitely a perfect, perfect brown for my brunettes who struggle with all of the fashion colors, struggle with like money pieces in the front and tons of highlights, or you just don't want people asking you about your hair. You don't want to put a wig on that, you know, is clearly a salon color and have people ask you where you get your hair done this is going to be a great one for that i really love this color i think it's just a beautiful beautiful rich brunette it's neutral leaning warm i wouldn't say this is ashy in any way but it also isn't super warm or really pulling red let's get outside so you can see this color outside once again thank you uniwigs for giving me the opportunity to show leah i'm so grateful this is such a beautiful wig, you guys. I'm really excited to bring you a more budget-friendly piece. Whoops, I pulled it back when I did that. It is just a little bit loose on me. I kind of do need a, a wig grip with this one. But bring you a budget-friendly piece that is as nice as this one, that's thrilling for me. Let me know if you have questions. I'll put some pictures on the end as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. All right, it's super windy out here, but not, no sun all clouds so you'll get a great look at this color in natural light this hair is so soft I cannot get over how soft and light this hair is Really beautiful hair.
trying to figure out where to put my head so that it doesn't blow so much. You see, it's consistent all the way up to the root. All right, hope that helped. All right, here we are. This is how she air dried. I've done nothing to this. Stick it in my lip gloss, but air dry it. I have taken no heat to it. I've put zero product. This is what she looks like. I can't wait to style this one. The hair is so light, just light and soft. Slight, slight, super slight frizz, but nothing extreme. I think if I were to run a comb through this, maybe just put a little serum in it, I wouldn't have to take any heat to this. The only part of it I feel like needs a little bit of heat is right here because it's really hanging in the face. But taking a little bit of heat to it to get it up off the face I think will be enough. You can see I haven't even cut the lace on it yet. That is the length of lace that it came with. I'll be cutting it here shortly so that I can give her a curl and do my review. Can't wait to share. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.